tucked between Mara and Mau Forest. This is what remains of the over 4,000 hectares of Chepalungu forest. The forest was completely cut down in protest of the disputed 2007 presidential election results. Charles Korir, a tourism officer in Bomet County and a resident of Siongiroi, where the forest once stood, tells us that after the destruction of the forest, the pristine equality of flora and fauna vanished. In Chevalungu Forest, they are in two blocks. That is the Siongiroi block where we are right now, and another block on the other side, the western side of this uh, forest, which is called Chesambai block. In the 60s, okay, you could find that uh, this was one of the major migratory routes for the elephants from Mao to Masai Mara, and then also sometimes maybe from Mara to, to Mao. They used to normally pass Okay, one of the places down there, and then go straight to um, and, uh, Nyangares River. And Nyangares River is connecting with Amala River to form Mara River. It was last month. Okay, we had four elephants from, from Mao. The four elephants cross, okay, cross us from Mao Forest. They came to the reserve on the sides of Kibiosit. Uh, and then from there, Kaitabulia said, we were able to trace and they were able to monitor the elephants until they cross uh, the river to the other side, that is, until they cross Mara River to the other side of Mara. Other wildlife and birds that inhabited the forest were hunted down by locals, but a few managed to flee to the Maasai Mara and Mount Forest. The only remaining wildlife in this region right now is the, 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 the small ones, like we have the, okay, we have the tick tick. We have the rapids and there are some hyenas. The Kenya Forest Service Station was burnt down and a KFS officer lost his life while trying to protect the forest. The rivers which were once a lifeline for both wildlife and the local community completely dried up. The community is also dependent on the forest for various Nanwood forest products which now are completely gone. So we are hoping in a number of years that will be restored for the benefit of the community, both here and further beyond, because this forest, um, many communities beyond even this area depend on the services that it provides. The only trees that survived the onslaught were those with beehives. There is, however, a ray of hope as the restoration efforts at the forest kick into top gear. Kenya Forest Service pia walianza kujenga manyumba za maaskari katika hiyo eneo hilo na tayari kuna maaskari wa Kenya Forest Service wa nne ambaye wanaishi hapo na e, Kenya Wildlife Service wameajiri pia scouts on contract basis na hawa wa scouts wanafanya kazi pamoja na uh, maaskari wa Kenya Forest Service kuhifadhi msitu the last 5 years from the time Nema came to update this other site, at least uh, there is some, a bit of change, even in terms of uh, weather pattern. Because we have uh, realized that the rain has started to come, because at least the people have allowed the forest to regenerate naturally. And apart from that, they have also shifted the afforestation to their own, uh, to their own farms. In 2019, we identified a section together with the Kipunya Forest Service for planting. Uh, currently, we have done 200 hectares, that's close to 200,000 tree seedlings. And what we are focusing on is the indigenous tree species. This forest, uh, the dominant species were trees such as cedar, East African green heart, and many others. A forest can regenerate itself, but this process has been made difficult in the areas due to overgrazing. There's a clarion call for more partners to come forward and help in fencing off the entire forest. This way, less tree planting will be required. By the end of next year, the five-year period, we shall have planted over five million uh, trees uh, for Jebalungu and part of the Mao and also uh, any other place which we need to, to recover. Following drastic changes in the climate in the region, Locals have come to realize that their livelihoods are tied to the forest and are now doing their best 
to conserve it. As the country gears up for another election, the residents of Chepalungu know only too well that the forest does not vote. It only needs to be protected. Dan Kaburu K24, the voice of nature in Bumet County.